Hi guys, this is Amanda. Uh, in December, I ordered a bunch of clothes from YesStyle, mostly dresses and a swimsuit. And I wanted to do this haul because I just received a box. And also, I couldn't find any good reviews of girls that were my dimensions wearing the clothes. So I'm 5'7 and around 52 kilograms. Hopefully this haul will help some of those taller Asian girls figure out what the clothes are going to look like on them. So the first one we have is a chiffon uh, cap print shirt dress plus belt. This dress rides to right underneath my fingers. It's got very little elasticity, so it doesn't move very much. Uh, the picture said it had more of an A-line figure on the bottom, and although it does, I feel like it could be a little bit more accentuated. The biggest disappointment I have for it is the belt. Uh, it doesn't have belt loops, so the belt will slide down, making it just, you know, more irritating to deal with. But overall, I'm, I'm relatively happy with, with it. The next item I have is the mock two-piece sleeveless mini dress. I'm really excited because I don't have a single dress that has two pieces. It's in medium and it retails for $11.04 USD, which is gonna be so worth it. Okay, let's go try this one. Let's talk about this dress. I think, let's talk about the good parts of it first. Well, it's, it's stretchy, the material is really stretchy and it's pretty thick. I think it's still only a single layer, but that's, that's, that's okay, I think, I think it's pretty hefty material that is built to at least last a few wears. I love the style, I love the shoulder area, like it really, I think up here is really cute and the size of it is really nice. Okay, let's talk about the most important part though, the fit. <laughs> if you are a 32C and up, these buttons are literally coming off. I don't think this is a very good fit at all, which is so unfortunate because I really wanted to have a two-piece dress. And let's talk about the waist. Even without stretching it very far, I can fit my whole hand, almost my whole hand in here. For reference, I'm around a 24 or 25 waist. So yeah, this fit is not very good. I think the back is okay. It's pretty cute. Okay, let's move on to the next dress which is the strappy off-shoulder baby doll dress in medium. This retails for uh, $9.38 when I bought it. And let's hope this fits better than this one. <laughs> Let me open it and get some first impressions. Ooh, this is soft material. Oh. Let's find out what it is. It's a blended fabric and it has acrylic in it. So let's, let's see. The stitching, this has already got a loose stitch and I just opened it, so that's not a good sign. But for $9, what are you, what are you really arguing about, you know? Okay, so far it looks pretty cute. This is the dress on. I think it's pretty cute. I was told it kind of looks like pajamas and I kind of agree. It's about finger length on the legs. Um, the material's pretty comfortable even for being a blended type of fabric. It comes with a belt. Let's, let's take a look at it without the belt. This is, it looks just like a doll's pajamas <laughs> and I think that's pretty cute style. These shoulder straps are amazing. A little bit loose but really cute. Give this a four out of five would wear. Very comfortable, very movable, and very flowy. The next thing I'm gonna do is this cute beret, and it was five dollars, which is completely worth it as far as I'm concerned. Even if it looks bad, I thought it would be an experiment. I'm not sure what I look like in a beret, so let's find out. Oh, this is a pretty Oh, what kind of fabric is this? Wool. It's just a wool blend, uh, which means that it'll be a little bit itchy, but 
on my head there's hair covering the skin so I don't think that's gonna make that much of a difference comes with a little uh, paper holder to make sure the hat keeps its shape all right let's put it on so how do you actually put on a maybe it's like that and then you pull out your hair from underneath it that looks like what the girl looks like all right not too bad not my favorite hat so far but could be worse i think i'll give this maybe a four out of five stars maybe one star for having not for having no instruction manual i'm kidding Keep moving on so the next thing I have is also something I've been meaning to buy for a really long time but haven't bought. Short sleeve crop t-shirt. This was $3 USD. It's just a regular crop t-shirt. So we'll have to see how this looks. Here it is right out of the packaging. It's really small. I hope it'll fit me. This is the crop tee. I think it's pretty cute. 5 out of 5 stars, cotton, or what feels like cotton. It's kind of short, it's cropped, just like it promised it would be. I think it looks pretty similar to the item description. Shoulders are a little bit short on me, my shoulders are a little bit wider, but that's not a huge deal. I would definitely wear this out. A lot of uh, material to stretch with, like it's really elastic, really breathable. I love it. I love the high, the high neckline here. I think it's really flattering. The next item I have to review is a swimsuit. This is the, the plain lace-up swimsuit. So this swimsuit is a one-piece swimsuit. It was around $17 when I bought it. In fact, it was $17.96 when I bought it. I bought it in a small because I thought that for swimsuits it was okay to buy it a little bit small since it would stretch and I wouldn't want it to buy it too big. Well, let's go try it on this. I'm not feeling very hopeful about this. This is the swimsuit on. It's, I think it's, it's really small. It's really giving me a wedgie in the back. I would not buy a small again. Uh, this is really tight up here. Um, because it's so tight out here, it kind of like pulls the fabric up, so it's not quite hugging my waist exactly where it is. Um, I think overall it looks quite like the picture and the material feels like regular swimsuit material. I would probably wear this out and swim in it. I think it's really durable, something I can move around in. It's kind of flattering. These laces you have to tie up when you wear it, which is not a huge deal. Um, I like the, the lace going down here, or the strings going down here. I think it's pretty nice. This concludes my Yes Style haul. I hope that maybe one person found it helpful. I will be going on Yes Style and posting all of these pictures I took with the outfits that fit and didn't fit. Maybe that'll help uh, fellow Yes Style buyers. That's, that's about it. Maybe I will see you next time. Bye-bye.